Hello and welcome to the channel. If you like this kind of content, please leave a like and subscribe. So here we have the Cinda Wireless RGB mouse. It's one that I've used for a long time. It's a really good mouse. Lots of really cool features on there and uh, lots of RGB, which is quite cool. So it's got a USB dongle. You can see three different modes of connection. Um, I'll switch it on really quickly and show you. So you've got 2.4G, which is obviously the USB receiver, Bluetooth 1. You can basically connect to any Bluetooth device, including an iPad, and then you've got Bluetooth 2, so you can choose two, two different devices, which is pretty cool. Um, you've also got, obviously, um, the USB-C charger on the front. You've got the RGB strip going all around the side. Um, and yeah, like I said, a really, really good mouse. Really highly recommend it. It's got a really, really smooth scrolling wheel as well. Really nice tactile click. Um, there's not really much that I can't say about this this mouse that I don't like really. There's a, there's a lot that I, I do like and actually I've got um, I've got two of them. So that's how much I, I like them. So the reason I'm showing this off today is because actually if you saw in the first part, the scroll wheel is a little bit sticky and I thought, why not try and open it and repair it just for a bit of fun. Um, and also to make it a little bit better. So the screws at the bottom, you can see they're hidden actually underneath their, these kind of pads at the bottom. So if you kind of peel back the glue, you'll actually see that there's the screw hole there that's exposed. So that's one of them. I know that on there there's three. So uh, you have to also peel off the other two stickers, as you can see there. And that will also expose the other two screws. So there's three in total and they just use a normal cross-headed screwdriver bit. So once you take them out, um, obviously be quite careful because the hole at the bottom will just open as you can see. So you've got the bottom bit where the PCB is uh, screwed in, you've got the RGB middle, and then you've got the top where the battery is as well. Obviously be careful, there is a battery connector that plugs into the um, PCB, so you can actually remove it, but um, I didn't need to for this one. It's just because I need to essentially just clean the scroll wheel. So that's what I'm going to do quickly. I'm going to use a um, isopropyl alcohol soaked pad essentially to start cleaning it. Uh, just going to, you know, go around it, go around the scroll wheel itself, go around where the scroll wheel sits, just try and, you know, mop up any of the junk that's maybe potentially causing any issues or maybe causing it to stick a little bit. Basically, the problem was that it wasn't smooth. It was a little bit sticky. So just go around it really quickly. You don't need to remove anything. As you can see, it's a very, very quick job. Very, very simple, very easy. You just need, like I said, this pad, have it to uh, kind of go through. I, off camera, I did a little bit more cleaning just because I thought, let's just get back into the cracks and I wanted to make a, re a really good thorough job of it because I wanted to put it back together, have it working perfectly. Because like I said, this is my daily mouse that I use every single day. Um, as I mentioned, I've got two of them because they're, they're that good. So click into place, make sure the USB-C part is clicking into the actual casing itself. I'm just going to give it a quick clean, just get out, out any junk. Whilst you've got it open, you might as well do a thorough job because once it goes back in, you want it just to start working. So I'm just going around it a couple more times with this pad. Just make sure it's really, really good. Put the screws back in and then basically just make sure you align the pads that go back on there uh, because they can be a little bit finicky to pop back on because obviously you're taking it off you're essentially pulling it a little bit and making it a little bit longer than it should be so as you can see the pads don't go quite back on as perfectly as they came off you can see that on the top left corner there it, it actually comes off quite a bit so what you might need to do is just basically push it back into place flatten it out and, and do what you can but as you can see it's all done it's all finished and that's it Thanks very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please leave a like and subscribe for more.